Hi, my name is James Reed. I'm part of horse management level three at Craven College, and I'm going to show you how I transport horses. Right, so the first thing you want to think about is having good light when you are preparing your horses for travel. So I have just moved uh, my horse Tom here up into a well area, into the bathing area, so I can see what I'm doing and that everything is fitted correctly. Okay, so we have moved to Tom's tail and the first thing we are going to be doing is tail guards. Um, they come in forms of bags and um, tail wraps, which are like velcro straps, but my personal favourite is tail bandages because uh, I feel like they're really easy to get on and off and especially with a grey horse you can wrap all the way down to the bottom of the tail. Um, and we are going to start by making sure we're stood away from the back legs so we don't get kicked and starting with it upright so it will be rolling outwards and backwards make sure you've rolled it already pre when you've done that previously okay so i'm going to start off by leaving a little doing it a bit on an angle and lifting the tail up you can get someone to help you if you are struggling i like to do a bit on an angle and i like to wrap under and away leaving just a little corner at the top and make sure this goes quite tight. I have to have these on quite a while, so make sure you're wrapping tight. Then with this little excess corner that we've had, I'm just gonna fold that down and wrap, and wrap over the top of it. And then I'm gonna slowly start to make my way down the tail. So carrying on rolling down the dock, and some people like to stop at the bottom of the dock and go back up. But because my horse's tail is very white and grey, well, a bit dirty at the moment, but um, I like to roll all the way to the bottom so then no dirt or grime can get in the horse's tail, following the same method, going quite ne nice and tightly down the tail until you've wrapped all the way to the bottom. <laughs> And then if you find you've got a bit of here, you can make a video. Yeah, as far as you can down, it doesn't matter if it doesn't go all the way to the bottom. That's what the tail bags are for. But this just about makes it and it covers, you can see now it's got nice coverage, even all the way down the tail. Right, so now you are got the ribbon at the end, um, which will you will tie so that the tail bandage stays secure when you are traveling the horses. So just undo the little pieces. And then what you'll do is you'll wrap, there we go. So you will wrap this around, tightening, so it makes it nice and tight at the bottom. Um, and you'll also do the same with that. And then you will just travel a little bit up just so it's got a bit more security. This is what I like to do, just so I've not got as much excess of ribbon dangling at the bottom. And then you would like to tie in a knot, like so, not too tight. And then just go in a slight bit of the ball formation. So if you were up close to the dock, you would tuck this in. But because we are at the bottom of the tail, we might find that a little bit difficult, but I find this is just easier for cleaning purposes. And there, you've got your bow at the bottom. Let that drop down. It looks a bit wonky, but it is uh, nice and secure and it will stop the horse from rubbing its tail and its dock. Right, on to the next bit. Right, so for the back boots, we are using the Saxon Velcro boots. These are got a bit of a fur lining, so they're very comfortable, especially for my young horse. Um, and these are Velcro straps. I prefer these to use for the back boots as they're, they cover quite a bit of leg and they aren't going to um, leave any sores or rubs. Right, so now once you've un <laughs> once you've unstrapped all of the um, attachments, you move down, bending down. Make sure you aren't lean, kneeling, because that is very dangerous. And you make sure you, you go back through here and hook it. So you see the horse's um, hock covers covered, covers the hock, and you just do up the velcro straps as tight as you can, just to get that nice security making sure you don't leave any bumps and then that is the horse's life secure for travel i'm just going to quickly go and do the other side and then i'll be back with right. you and for front boots we have these smaller um thermatech 
Velcro boots um, because I just like to have a bit of less on the front legs just because it's just a bit less hassle. With the back legs, obviously they can be a bit clumsy with them, so I like to have as full coverage as possible. Um, you can also use uh, stale bandages and polo wraps if you wish, but this is a bit more of an easier and effective, quicker way, especially with young horses, so you're not doing as much packing with the legs. Right, so once you've done all these caps, he's very interested in it. Okay. And they are, I'm gonna put this one down and they are upright. Um, right, so once you've undone all the Velcro straps, again, kneel down, do not go uh, on the floor, uh, and just wrap this round the horse's leg, making sure the straps are facing backwards, and you just go and fasten up the, stra the straps, making sure you cover the knee, stone uh, area, which is very important. Right, I'm quickly going to do the other side and then we'll move on to head collars. Right, so in addition to the tail bandages we have used, you can also use Velcro tail guards, which are pretty easy, um, with a tail bag attachment. Um, this is by Armour, and these are very good for quick use, changing between horses. If you go into a show with lots of different horses and you've got the equipment, you've got to go really fast and there's not that many staff. This is quite a good option. However, these do tend to slide down um, a lot quicker than the tail bandages would do. So I wouldn't recommend these for long journeys. Right, so for head collars, we have a fluffy Lemure head collar, as this head collar I wouldn't deem suitable, because if the horse pulls its head up, especially for long periods of time, it can rub. So this is for extra comfort. Um, another use is you can use leather head collars, as they will break break easily with um, younger horses and horses that aren't experienced with travel. So we are just going to put this um, fur head collar up to get my horse ready to be loaded up. Right. So making sure we are keeping safe, the lead rope is still on, we are going to just unfasten this head collar and just gently slide it off the nose and reattach it at the neck area so that the horse cannot walk off. And then applying the head collar, I have just already undone the chin kind of uh, the chin clasp and bring his head over and through. Make sure you're not pulling his ears back, make sure you can pull them nice and through with all of his forelock. And then finish off with his yoke clip Sorry. and then reattach the lead rope to there. And then you can then remove the previous head collar and place it elsewhere. Right, so this head collar, as you can see, has a lot of room. This is just for comfort and to make sure that it's not too tight and it is also adjustable to a wide range of horses. I would rather have the head collar a little bit a little bit longer, a little bit bigger than too tight because you don't want any rubbing and you don't want any discomfort on it to make um, a bad experience when traveling. Right, so for rugs, you want something that's breathable, like a fleece or a cooler, and that won't actually um, rub or irritate the horse or get the horse too hot. Now my horse is clipped out so personally on an exceptionally hot day I wouldn't use a rug at all because I know he's not very clumsy with getting cuts and stuff. However if a horse has a thin coat and are prone to getting cuts this is just this extra guard used to help with your horse's comfort and overall good experience when traveling. Um, once the rug is folded correctly and the sir single has been tied to avoid hitting the horse when the rug lands on the horse's body, what you first want to do is you want to approach the shoulder and the side, just move out the way from, and this is the fur line collar and you would gently pull it a bit higher than you normally would so that when you are sliding back the rug you don't have to then slide it forward and go against the grain of the hair. So then I would fold this rug Back, back, and then you will start with doing the front class. Right, so starting up, we will do the front class. So you've got a Velcro strip to start off with, and then you have two Velcro clasps to do up. Make sure it's nice and secure. And then a final fleece guard that will go over to stop the horse catching itself, which is really good when transporting. Right, moving on. This has one strap, so it reduces the amount of um, areas that the horse can be attached to. Um, these are very, quite dangerous with um, hay nets, um, but this doesn't have a rubber guard on it. I would prefer it would have a rubber guard on it, uh, but it doesn't for today. Just for video purposes, we will let this one slide. Um, so you will clip this up, like, like so, twist it in, and this is quite a nice loose sir single. 
um, and I wouldn't I wouldn't adjust this for a short journey. Maybe for a bit of a longer journey, I might tighten it up a little bit. But um, for the purposes of this video, I would like to keep it nice and long. Come, come around this way. Right, moving on. So this is the final bit. This is the tail bandage. Make sure you've got to be very careful. I'm just going to pull the um, strap through. So then it is lying over and the rug cannot slide off. This is a little bit smaller. I would like it a little bit larger for him. But um, this is the only fleece rug we could find in the yard and it would be alright for short journeys. Right, so once you have your personal protective equipment on, also known as PPE, which is my gloves and my hat for leading, and you untie your horse, holding the lead up in this formation on a loose thing, he's eager to go, so we are just going to head out. Uh, he has never had trouble boots on before. Uh, on his back legs, so we are just going to see how he reacts to them. Some horses can pick their legs up, but yeah, let's go. That's it uh, for the preparing your horses to travel. He is quite alert as he thinks he's going away, and this is the trail that we'll be using, but we won't show him actually building up. Uh, that's it for the video today and we will see you another time.